The arts community was shuttered during the pandemic, but out of that time, a unique opportunity presented itself for the Arizona Opera. Joining us to talk about this opportunity and how they adapted to the times is the director, Crystal Manage. Hey, Crystal. Hi, how are you, Jane? It's so great to have you here. Now, Crystal, the Copper Queen was originally supposed to be a live theater performance. So talk about how the pandemic changed your approach to the performance. Yes, the piece was originally intended to be performed on stage in September of 2020, but obviously with the onset of the pandemic, uh, Arizona Opera decided to pivot the project and it kept developing into what is now an independent film uh, because we kept pushing the dates back as to when we were going to shoot it. And so we had a full eight months of pre-production and it really um, was, a, was an incredible labor of love for sure. Absolutely. And the trailer that I watched on your website is just, it, it really truly is a full film production. Were there challenges that you faced when you had to take the performance from the stage to film? Of course, yes. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a different medium. I had to think about different things. I had to change the way I was going to direct the piece. Uh, suddenly I had to consider um, angles and uh, cameras and we collaborated with Manly Films, uh, which was a fantastic uh, move because obviously they came equipped with their team and we merged the theater and film world together with, with our team over at Arizona Opera. So it was um, a really, it's really a hybrid uh, production. So tell us about The Copper Queen. The Copper Queen is based on Julia Lowell, whose ghost still haunts Bisbee, uh, Arizona's Copper Queen Hotel. And uh, it's, it's a fictionalized account of maybe who Julia might have been. And it goes back and forth between two time periods. We have Addison Moore, who comes in 2010 to the hotel. We don't know why she's there. But then we start seeing into the past, into 1910, to see Julia's history. And as the show goes on, you start to piece together why Addison is on this journey to try to connect with Julia's ghost and it's a it's a it's a ghost story it's a thriller it's a period piece a western but it's also a story of redemption now because it's on film how can people see the copper queen you can go over to thecopperqueenfilm.com and you can sign up and stream it right away it's streaming now through January 2nd and uh, it's um, you can view it right in your own home now, because it's on film, do you think that you'll see a different audience for the Arizona Opera? That's the hope. I think that opera has long been uh, considered by people who don't know opera as maybe something stodgy or something really um, stuffy, but actually opera is um, the Olympics of all art forms only because you have to use your entire body and the and the, the way that people sing, it's it's bearing their soul. And um, this is a new piece, so it's it's never been seen before. It's never been interpreted before. We are the first ones. And so I think that um, people who have never seen opera will change their mind about what they, they know about opera and, and hopefully they'll be inspired to see more. Crystal, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right, if you would like more information about the Copper Queen, just head to their website.